Buongiorno, Vario Stick here. What are we going to be doing today? Well, nothing. Italy's on lockdown. So what does that mean then, Italy's on lockdown? Well, of course, any of you who are students of, of Italy or perhaps live over here like I do, then the coronavirus, or COVID-19 as it's now been called, uh, has taken a grip in Italy and uh, there's been a lot of cases, there's been some fatalities as well. So what the Italian authorities have done is they've said that everybody has got to stay put, uh, stay in your own comune or your own council area. Uh, the only uh, times you're allowed to travel is to and from work uh, for necessities, um, which I guess things like shopping, and in emergencies. So, you know, it's, it's fairly tightly controlled and the Carabinieri and the Polizia are, are out and about. I've seen lots of them uh, and they'll be checking why people are moving, where you're going from to. We're quite lucky here um, because our local comune, our local town council, there's shops there, there's a couple of small little supermarkets, there's a, um, a pharmacy, there's the bank, uh, there's also a pet food place so you can we can buy the food for the dogs so you know uh, a grocer's we, we've got everything we need in the local comune the local council area so we can stay here we can stay put and stay uh, properly provisioned some of the other little towns and villages around and about aren't so lucky but of course that comes with this rule of traveling for necessity so they'll be able to move to other small towns and villages where they'll be able to buy their goods one thing the, uh, the Italian authorities have introduced is this. Now, uh, that's the right document that you need uh, if you're going to move out of your comune. Uh, and they've given here uh, one or two different tick boxes that you can tick uh, if you are to move out. Now, you need to fill this in. Um, you need to give the reasons why you're moving, where you're going from, where you're going to, um, and have this all signed up, ready to go. This is your, your travel permit, in effect and the Carabinieri or the Polizia uh, will ask for this and check it um, and it says here that by signing and using this document, this travel permit, that you are familiar with the rules and regulations because if you're not you can be fined and there's even uh, precedence to, uh, to throw people into jail <laughs> if you don't comply with the, with the travel permit. So it is very tightly controlled uh, I don't know if this kind of thing is going to be introduced in other countries if, if the uh, COVID-19 virus, hello dog, uh, takes hold, but um, certainly it is a control measure here in Italy. That was Daisy May, by the way. Look at some other videos on her. She's half growing, 7.7 .7 kilos now, eating us out of house. <laughs> what are you allowed to do? Well, not much to be honest. The uh, supermarkets are open, but not on a Saturday, Sunday. Most of the shops are closed. All the gyms, swimming pools, any kind of public arena, football, all that's like shut down. Schools and colleges obviously are closed. Uh, the only shops really that are open are shops that you can get your provisions from, like a bakery, supermarket, the pharmacies. Now they're all open. Um, but it's all very limited. Bars and restaurants uh, can open, but they're only open until about six o'clock in the evening. Um, and some of those just don't bother opening anymore because people are staying put. They're staying in their own homes or uh, in their own localities. So there's just no point in a lot of those opening. So it is, it is very quiet and noticeably um, uh, what's the, quieter. There's fewer people uh, about. Uh, we've also seen that Ryanair, uh, EasyJet, Air Canada are cancelling flights in and out of Italy. So all of that stopped an awful lot of movement in and out of the country, which obviously that's going to affect the tourist trade in the short and medium term, I would suspect. Uh, also, also they've stopped weddings, uh, they've stopped funerals. Uh, so really the only people at a, at a funeral will be the dead person and the priest, uh, unless you have special permission to be there of course. Uh, you cannot visit anybody in a hospital, you cannot visit anybody in a care home. I get that one. This is about limiting the spread isn't it and being more respectful of those people who are at more risk, the elderly, 
and those people with underlying medical conditions. So what are we going to be doing in our variostic world then? Well, clearly we can't be going to all these different places and doing our walkabouts and exploring different uh, towns and villages. That's obviously in, in contravention of, of the new rules and regulations, um, quite obviously. So we'll be concentrating uh, our life here on the farmstead. We've got all the dogs, don't forget Daisy May and Florence. So we'll be doing updates on the two new puppies. We've got the geese and bear, of course, the Abruzzese that walked in uh, on a storm. I think last year it was. So he's been, uh, he's been here now for over a year. I'll also be doing regular updates on uh, the uh, COVID-19 or coronavirus and exactly how that's affecting life here in Italy. So um, if you're thinking about visiting um, or you just like the idea of Italy, um, please, keep, uh, please keep watching because these uh, coronavirus updates may be of useful to you. Also, I've got the camera back out doing the Nature Watch. I don't know if you saw the first nature watch we did with the wild boar and the badger and, and the foxes. Uh, oh, and the owl that came down and, uh, and took the mouse. That was good. Uh, I'm going to do some more of those. So the camera's already out uh, filming what's going on at night. Uh, and we've got some rather nice shots. I just had a quick look the other day. And there's a male boar with his uh, Mohican uh, right the way down his back. That's fantastic shots of him. So I'll be doing that. Uh, our life uh, here on the farmstead. Uh, the weather's out nice now, of course. Of course, it would be now you're locked down. Uh, so we've got lots of jobs to do around here. Mrs. Stick will be maintaining her lawns and flower beds. So we'll be doing a few uh, little excerpts on that. Um, we've got some work to do with the chickens and the geese. We're going to be expanding the fencing so they've got some more room and some more grass to eat. Um, as I say, coronavirus and also we'll be doing our more nature watches. So from a very sunny, uh, very warm, but locked down Abruzzo. This is Vario Stick saying, Ciao, ciao for now.